Welcome back to the Print 3D channel on this very special Christmas episode. On this episode, we're going to print out a Christmas tree, so stick around. Welcome back, and thank you for joining me here on the Print 3D channel as we celebrate Christmas. Recently, A Pyro Design created this really cool MakerCoin Christmas tree and they asked me to be part of it. So I submitted my maker coin and I got to see it in the final video. And I'd really love to thank you guys for including me. That was awesome. And it turned out really cool too. And I really liked the design of the Christmas tree. So I knew right away I wanted to print that. Right now I'm testing some of the 3D Geekbox filament from Maker Geeks and they included a really cool translucent green color. So this was perfect for printing out our Christmas tree. So let's head over to Pin Shape and download our model, slice it up in Simplify 3D, and get it ready for printing on the GMAX 1.5 XT+. All right, so here we are at Pin Shape. Here is the Christmas tree by Isotalo. And I'll put the link down in the description so you can download and print this one yourself too. And you can see it's a pretty popular model. It's got 11 prints on here. And it is Christmas time, so it's time to print a Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and download this and head over to Simplify 3D and slice it up for printing on the GMAX 1.5 XT+. Okay, so here we are in Simplify 3D, and I've already dropped the Christmas tree down on the print bed, and I've blown this one up 300% because I have a GMAX printer, and we're going to GMAX size this. So let's go ahead and hit Done here, and I'll show you my process setting. And I've set up a factory file here, so let's check out my process setting. Under Layer, we're going to do five top solid and four bottom solid layers and four perimeters to make this thing pretty solid. For this model, to make sure it sticks to the print bed, we're going to use a little bit of a brim. And we're going to do six outlines right along the edge. And you just enter zero here and it turns a skirt into a brim. We're not going to do any kind of infill here because we want this to be hollow. And we're not going to need any kind of support. For temperature, we're running the Maker Geeks Crystal Series filament. And this is a semi-translucent filament. The recommended temperature on the package says 230 degrees. And I've been doing some testing and I found that 232 seems to be pretty good. So that's what we'll run our Christmas tree at. For cooling, we're going to only run the fan at zero at the first layer, and then at the third layer, we're going to kick it up to 60%, and that should be pretty good. For speed, we're only going to do 35 millimeters per second, and that should give us a nice perfect model and hopefully some even layers. And that about wraps it up here. We'll hit OK, and let's hit Prepare to Print. This shouldn't take too long because it doesn't have any infill. And we did blow it up to 300%, so that may make a difference. Oh, here we go. So let's go ahead and play this out and see how it looks. Now remember, we're running a brim instead of a skirt, and that'll keep the model from warping on the edges. And, it, and as you can see, there's no infill, so this will basically just turn up. And I don't want to use vase mode because I want four layers on this, so it's pretty thick. So let's go ahead and speed this up so it finishes. It says over here it's going to take 9 hours and 11 minutes, and that seems pretty good. And it's going to use 0.29 pounds or 130 grams. All right, let's just drag this to the end here. And then it prints its little star at the top. Let's zoom in here and make sure our star is gonna be uh, okay, because we're not running any support here. So let's just run this out. It looks like it'll be okay. I think the GMAX will be okay for this print. So let's go ahead and save our file down onto the SD card and head over to the GMAX 1.5 XT Plus and get this printing. Okay, so I have the SD card loaded up with our Christmas tree model. And I've already preloaded some of the Crystal Series Green that they sent us in the 3D Geek Box, so we're ready to go. And I'll set up that time-lapse camera and I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so here we are nine hours later and here's our Christmas tree and this turned out pretty cool. There was a little problem here with the star at the top and I think because we're running at 230 degrees for this kind of filament, 
and not having enough cooling at the speed I was originally running at the bottom caused a little bit of fold over here with the filament. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. And I'll put some close-ups in at the end like I normally do. But this looks pretty cool. And if you add just a little bit of light, you get this. And that looks really, really cool. So I'll put a hole in the bottom and I'll add a nice little LED in there. And that'll make a nice little addition to our little Christmas decorations. And, you know, again, you can see that the star's all messed up. But that's 3D printing, and that'll make this quite unique. So thank you for joining me here on the Print 3D channel as we celebrate Christmas. We got to print our own little Christmas tree, and I think it turned out pretty stellar. I hope you found this episode interesting, and I'd really like to give a big shout out to all my subscribers and all my followers on social media. Happy holidays, you guys. And please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, comment and like on those videos, and join me again on the next episode here on the Print 3D channel. This is a pretty cool little Christmas tree, and I'll put the link down in the description so you can download and print it yourself. Happy holidays, everybody.